In this video, I will teach you how to really create a LinkedIn company page. And I will take you step by step through the whole creation process. And then at the end, I will show you how to use and manage your business page alongside your personal profile, keeping them strictly separate while using both to build a following and attract clients. So without further ado, let's start setting up the page. Now go to Google and search for create LinkedIn company page. Click the first link and then this button or go to your personal profile and press the for business drop down menu and then click on create a company page. But whatever option you choose, a personal LinkedIn profile, one with your actual first and last name is necessary. You can't cover that up. Now, I know that some of you want to hide your identity, but to comfort you, nobody can actually see that you created the page unless you send invitation requests or present yourself as the founder on your personal profile in the experience section. Now, once you're logged in, you can choose between three options. This one is for educational institutions and the showcase page is basically a sub page that you can connect to a company page. You can use it to show a specific topic, product or department in the widget area. But that's something you can also do after you've created the main company page. So let's click on the first one and continue. Right now you need to fill in your company name, then the company URL. So your company name with or without a hyphen in between doesn't matter that much as long as it is recognizable. Don't worry about all the company details you're to fill in you can always change it later the domain name for example once every month over here you can enter the website if you have one and in regards to the industry i'm going to select media production don't worry if it's not specific enough to your industry this drop down simply doesn't have many options now the organization size it's just me myself and i organization type self-employed and then we need to upload a linkedin company page logo so i recommend you to go to canva click on create a design custom size and pick 300 times 300 pixels as recommended by LinkedIn. Now keep it simple, just the company's initials and a clean background. You can make it a bit more transparent if you want or search for an element. Pick for example, a fun and creative logo when you can customize a bit so you can, for example, include your brand colors. And once finished, you can save it accordingly. Let's say download it as a PNG file and then you upload it over here. And then we arrive at probably the most important part of a company page, the tagline. Enter in just several words what you do, followed by a call to action. And optionally add an emoji at the end, pointing towards the call to action button. And this button we will add later on. And at last, verify and click the button. And your page is now officially created. Now over here you can see the remaining tasks to complete. But first, let's design a company page banner. Go back to Canva, create a design, enter LinkedIn, and don't pick the normal background pick the career page background it's the same size as LinkedIn recommends now these are some great examples if you want to showcase a product reinforce your brand name or just visually show what your company is all about but whatever you pick keep it simple don't stuff it with signs arrows and a lot of messages most of you want to draw attention to what's most important these colored company page call to action buttons and you can customize them let me show you by clicking on edit page and buttons you can play around with these settings and see how it looks in the example now i'm gonna pick visit website because there's no book now and then you include the website link over here most of you might want to pick a more profound call to action like contact us register or sign up i feel like learn more or visit website are a bit too general or open-ended but anyway let's disable this one and click on save Next up, we go to overview because I want to add a company page description for the about section. Now, I would recommend you to enter who you are, what you do, the problem you solve, and an email address your target audience can reach out to. Sure, you can also add a backstory, example cases, or testimonials, but keep the most important information within those three lines because you want everything, especially your email address, to be visible without needing to click on show all details. Now, all of the other information in the description can be added by simply filling in these boxes. And if you want to, you can also manage your description and tagline in another language. I set English as my default language, but you can also pick a different one. So yeah, let's go back to overview because right now I want you to add some specialties to rank better in LinkedIn search. You see, potential candidates might search for job related keywords and potential clients may want to see an overview of, well, in this case, video production companies within their location. Now let's go back and then click hashtags. Add one main and a more niched down subject. This helps LinkedIn categorize your company page in the feed section. Click on feed and then hashtags. 
you can see that on these pages a hashtag is included. That way only information related or relevant to your business is shown. So you can easily consume or repost information that is relevant to your followers. I would also recommend you to add a company branded hashtag. Let me give you an example. If you look up hashtag live ad followed by this company's name and then click on posts and latest, you can see the most recent posts that include that hashtag. And if you, your colleague or employees do this a couple of times per week or month, it creates this ripple effect of post after post, which is basically a free and passive form of advertising. Okay, so let's edit the rest of the company page. Starting over here at the header. Page info is done, call to action buttons too. We've covered the overview and over here you can add a workplace if you are hiring. And this feature can make your workplace appear more attractive to candidates, especially if you add a link to a landing page and some benefits. And then locations, you can simply check mark my organization doesn't have a street address and only provide the city. Keep in mind though that a map to a specific location helps the trustworthiness of your page. And I would like to add that potential candidates or clients in your area are more likely to find you in search. So now your page is up and running. I would like to show you how to find your company page. Now you can enter your page's name in search or by clicking on the me drop down menu where it is located underneath manage. So then the question arises, how do you actually manage a company page? Now go to settings and over here you can control who manages your page. Add an admin and then you can assign a role. Here is a short description of what each role can do. And if you go back and click on learn more, you can find an overview more in detail. Now over here you can follow other pages. It's not possible to follow people, only other company pages. So let's add some examples. Now these are just a few company pages of the biggest LinkedIn influencers right now. And if you click done and go back to your feed, click on following, then you get an overview of what these pages recently posted or reposted. And as you can see, all of them are reposts. So I would recommend you to go to your personal profile Pick a post you want to share and press this little icon to switch to your company page. And then you click on repost, not repost with your thoughts because that will create a whole new post like you see here with new reactions, new comments, which hurts your current and future post reach. So just repost. Of course, you can create posts to live events or link to your website page like Harvard Business Review does, but the engagement tends to be lower. Okay, so next up, I want to talk about growing a following. And I'll have to be honest, my goal has never been to build an audience using my company page. I use this page as a landing page, more so a visual representation of what I do. If you want to grow a following, however, you can invite connections over here. And the idea is simple. Sending each invitation requires one credit. When your invite is accepted, the credit is then returned. Each month it gets renewed for all admin roles. And I believe employees get like 30 credits each time. So you may as well want to encourage colleagues to start sending invites. And that's basically it for this video. Now I hope it was helpful. And if so, a like is greatly appreciated appreciate it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate and leave your comment down below. I'll respond as soon as possible. Now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next week's video. Bye!